He's the man that knows the cap bonuses and all of that. He's the one that gets you good front of us. Oh, don't give a word. He's the guy who knows the law. Can't put him against the wall. He's the guy with all the answers. Matt and Chuck are backup dancers. Front office knows, knows it all. Front office Brought to you by Delos Vodka, the six times distilled vodka that is quite refreshing. And oh, by the way, it good. Delos Vodka. It good. That's not what they came up with. No, that's that's mine. But I've I've asked them and I haven't gotten denied. It good. It good. Now I haven't gotten a formal approval either. But just remember, when you're thinking about it, you get to your liquor store, you get to your bar, just think Delos vodka. It good. It good. <sighs> yeah. So I want to take us back exactly one year, just to kind of point out how far things have come around here and how we can feel better about what's going on in the future. Things are better here now. Yes, kind of like Selma, except. Over at a baseball park. Right. Okay, come on. Remember, we used to be over at Turner, right. and we were doing our thing over there. And the Braves, after 75 games last year, 26-49 and 49 on the season, 17 and a half games out of first place. Now, again, we're not competing for the division this year. You're nine games out, but significantly different, 17 and a half games out last year. Matt, you had brought up the number, how this team has won four straight series. Understand this, that at 75 games last year, They'd won four series total, total for that point. Now, I want to point out just some of the numbers just to kind of remind you about where we were at. This was before the point where obviously they had added some offensive pieces where you had uh, Freddie Freeman who was still not getting pitched to, although his production was starting to go up. 282 at this point last year with 13 homers. He'd gotten off to a pretty solid start. Mm-hmm. But then you had the rest of the lineup. Jace Peterson, who was playing every day, 263, zero homers. Ender and Ciarte, who got off to that horrible awesome. start. Yeah. Everybody did, even cl- including Freddie for like the first five weeks. He was 238 at this point. He finished basically as a 300 hitter last year. Nick Markakis, the same thing. The power had not gotten back yet. Two homers and a 257 average. But here was your lineup on the 75th game last year. Leading off, Jace Peterson, Ender Inciarte, Freddie Freeman, Nick Markakis, Adonis Garcia, A.J. Pruszynski, oh. Jeff Francoeur, Chase Darno. Make it stop. And this was not, as Chuck likes to refer to it, the give-up lineup. This was the regular lineup oh. after 75 games. They won their 36th game of the year this past Saturday. Is that right? right. That would be June 24th. Win number 36 came last year on July 29th. Almost into August. Give me the lineup again, and let's go through who, who, who could start on anybody else's team in that lineup. Because Ender and Freddie were the two I couldn't think of. Anybody else start for anybody else of that other group? Marcakis. Maybe Marcakis for Maybe. somebody. But no, the 2017 version of Marcakis. The 2016 version of Marcakis. Everybody was awful the first month or, or month and a half almost. That's not, not in 28. Yeah, was not hitting with any kind of power and was also not hitting with any kind of average as of last year. But that was the group. Now, let's go to the pitching, too. Because looking at some of the numbers here... It's a lot of fun. Bud Norris at this point was three and seven with a four twenty two ERA. I bet he led the team in wins at that point. Yes, he did, Chuck. He was actually tied. Julio Tehran was three and seven. Now Julio a two four six ERA. Can you imagine if he had a two four ERA right now? If you have a Julio version from a year ago, you're three or four above five hundred. I really believe that. I don't want to trade him. I'm sorry, nothing. No, I, I was right too. Three wins. Three wins was leading this team as far as the starting pitcher. Matt Whistler had it too. Another one with a 422 ERA. But then here was the back end of your group. Aaron Blair had gotten the opportunity, holding on to basically an 8 ERA. 799. He was 0 and 5 through his first five Very starts. Bartolo like. Fulty. Not too bad. 2 and 2 with 351. That's the reason why you've had progress from last year. And Williams Perez. Who is currently listed as a Chicago Cub? That's right, Bills. That's right. But he has not played in a big league ball game since 2016. Two and two with a four six two ERA. Am I making this up? Isn't Bud Norris like the back end of a bullpen for somebody? No, he's like the Anaheim closer for the Angels. Somebody, he's, the yeah. closer. he's the closer for the uh, Angels. Like Twelve saves. Now yeah. fast forward to this year. You've had four straight series wins. You've had eleven series wins in total. You're third in the NL in batting average. You're fourth in on base percentage. You're eighth in runs. You're second in the fewest strikeouts. Just behind, three behind the Pittsburgh Pirates. This is what you talk about that growth. This is what we've already seen right now. Just in the last, you know, four series, they've won four straight. That's as many as they won up to this point last year. Well, so when you talk about optimism, that's the reason why you have it. And it, like why we watch sports, certainly we want our teams to win. This is a fun team, man. They hit the ball. They're a fun. Like on a nightly basis. You could see 12, 14 hits. That's not a surprise when you look up and down this lineup. And that's without five in there. When Freddie comes back in another two and a half weeks, 
Think how much more fun offensively this could be. Give me a number. I just counted. I'm looking at last year's pitching staff. How many guys do you think threw one inning for the Braves last year? Oh, remember they led the league in star, uh, different starters. I bet they had uh, 40 pitchers. 36 yeah. players. Um Alexia Gondo was yeah. getting starts. Lucas Harrell was getting starts. Alexia Gondo started? Joel De La Cruz uh, was getting starts. Yes. Jolice Chassin was getting starts. Tomorrow night starter for the eight, uh, the uh, Padres against Braves. <laughs> Tyrell Jenkins. Now, I, I will say, I know 35 of these guys. I've never heard the name Madison Youngner. He, he was called up for like a minute. He pitched eight games. More than a minute. <laughs> Are you serious? Eight games. Why do I not remember him? What was his ERA? Because you blanked it all out. Six and a half. That's why I forgot him. Things were not good here. It we was put him not ahead so of much. Rob Whalen and Eric O'Flaherty and Aaron Blair and Roberto Hernandez. Not that one. And That's Faustar Car- Bar- Carmona. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. So 2016 to 2017, as I put the big That's bow on gruesome. it. gruesome. Yeah. This is the Selma of Major League Baseball. Good job, Los. Thank you very much. Things are better here now. They Joel De La Cruz. Joel De La Cruz.